good morning students this is your science lecture class 7 uh, we will read unit number 4 living organism and their environment in this lecture we will read page number 48 to page number 53 hot and dry climate the plants and animal living in hot and dry climate adapt themselves to deal with mainly with two factors scarcity of water and extremely high temperature in day time desert plant the root of desert plant spread out just below the surface of ground their stem are thick and fleshy for storing water spine and hair on the surface of stem and leaves of cacti prevent water loss some plant have very deep root desert animal they the desert animal have long legs tail and large ears to scatter body heat small animals that live in desert hide under rocks or in stone or in the sand and come out at the night animals such like lizard remain in burrow during the day time and come out at the night time for food large ears of desert fox help in scattering body heat camels have flat soles that enable them to walk on sand easily camels ke jo soles hain wo flat surface unki hoti hai taki wo easily desert mein chal sake their humps store fat that can be used in scarcity of water camel can survive without water for long time as they lose water through urination and sweating camel store water in special pouches in their stomach they can drink up 200 liter of water a day hot and wet climate places with a tropical wet climate are also known as rain forest there is region with high humidity and high rainfall monkeys gorillas lion tiger are commonly found here mostly evergreen trees are found in rain forest few plants survive on ground because forest floor is dark and damp plants which grow at the top of trees are called epiphytes the leaves of rain forest trees are adopted to cope with the exceptionally high rainfall in humi high humidity of tropical rain forest most trees have thin and smooth bark the smoothness of bark make it difficult for other plant to grow on their surfaces most of animal in this region have sensitive hearing sharp eyesight thick skin sharp claws and long beak and or trunk sloths are known for slowness of movement for spending most of their life hanging upside down in trees of tropical rain forest the skin of forest animal is usually colored student there is an activity remember and understand on page number 50 the characteristic feature of an organism which enable it to become suited to its habitat are called adaptation number 2 the roots of dash plant desert plant spread out just below the surface of ground number 3 desert animal remain in their burrow during the day time and come out at the night time look for the food number 4 camel hump store fat to be used in scarcity of food student do this activity on your notebook and learn it extremely cold climate animal in polar region adopted to have very cold climate by having some special characteristic to minimize heat loss polar bear have thick layer of fat under the skin small air to minimize heat loss polar bear jo hote hain unke upar fat ki ek thick layer hoti hai jo unhe prevent karti hai transfer of heat se unke body mein maujood jo heat hoti hai wo environment mein transfer nahi hoti thick fur help in keep them warm white large paws help in swimming and walking on the snow penguin have thick layer of skin and move around in ground to keep warm streamlined body and web feet make them swift swimmers good morning students this is your science lecture class 7 uh, we will read unit number 4 living organism and their environment in this lecture we will read page number 48 to page number 53 
वाम ब्लडिड एंड कोल्ड ब्लडिड एनिमल वाम ब्लडिड एनिमल आर दोज एनिमल हुज बॉडी डज नॉट चेंज विद द शिफ्टिंग टेम्परेचर इन सराउंडिंग ये वो एनिमल हैं जिनके बॉडी का टेम्परेचर सराउंडिंग के इन्वायरमेंट के चेंज होने से चेंज नहीं होता दे हैव टेम्परेचर कंट्रोल मैकानिज्म फॉर कीप देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर एट कॉन्स्टेंट लेवल और इनके बॉडी का टेम्परेचर जो है कॉन्स्टेंट रहता है एग्जाम्पल है इसकी मैमल एंड बर्ड आर वाम ब्लडिड फॉर एग्जाम्पल पोलर बेयर वेयर डोल्फन हैव थी क्लेयर ऑफ फैट कार्ल ब्लडर टू कीप दैम वाम सील्स आल्सो हैव थिक लेयर ऑफ फैट एंड थिन कोट ऑफ फर टू कीप दैम वाम कोल्ड ब्लडिड एनिमल कोल्ड ब्लडिड एनिमल लाइक फिश फ्रोक स्नैक एंड लिजर्ट हाइबर नेक दिस स्लीप इन द विंटर कोल्ड ब्लडिड एनिमल आर दोज एनिमल हुज बॉडी टेम्परेचर चेंज विद द शिफ्टिंग टेम्परेचर इन द सराउंडिंग दे कैन नॉट मेनटेन देयर बॉडी टेम्परेचर फूड चेन फूड चेन इज सीरीज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म इन विच ईच डिपेंड अपॉन द नेक्स्ट एज ए सोर्स ऑफ फूड एंड एनर्जी वो चेन जिसमें हमें ऑर्गेनिज्म की सीरीज का पता चलता है कि कौन सा ऑर्गेनिज्म किस दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म पर डिपेंड करता है फूड के लिए प्लांट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लाइफ ऑन अर्थ बिकॉज दे यूज एनर्जी फ्राम सन टू प्रिपेयर बेसिक फूड फॉर लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एनिमल कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर देयर फूड एनिमल ईट प्लांट आर कार कंज्यूमर All the food chain begin with the green plant. Green plant are producer. Next in the food chain come the animal that eat plant. These animal are called herbivores. Herbivores are eaten by the animal which eat them called carnivores. Human being and some animals are omnivores because they eat both plant and animal. Grass is the producer. It make food by photosynthesis. Rabbit eat grass. It is primary consumer or herbivore. Fox is a scanty consumer because it eat rabbit. As the process of eating and being eaten continue, energy is passed from food chain. However, at every stage energy is lost, and number of animal at each stage in the chain decrease as the size is increases. The bodies of dead plant and animal are broken down by bacteria and fungi. They are called decomposer. Bacteria and fungi decomposer हैं क्योंकि वो animal और plant की body को स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स में कन्वर्ट कर देते हैं ट्रॉपिक लेवल ऑफ फूड चेन द पोजीशन ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन फूड चेन इज कॉल ट्रॉपिक लेवल किसी भी ऑर्गेनिज्म की पोजीशन को हम फूड चेन में कहते हैं कि वो किस ट्रॉपिक लेवल पे है ग्रीन प्लांट जो है बेसिक लेवल पे है प्राइमरी लेवल पे है सेकेंड ट्रॉपिक लेवल जो है वो हरबी वोर्स का है और थर्ड जो है वो कॉर्नी वोर्स का है डायग्राम में इसको डिटेल में एक्सप्लेन किया गया है फूड वेब Many food chain interconnect to form food web. It is because most of animal feed on more than one kind of organism. For example, a cat does not eat mice only; it also eat little bird like chick. Food web जो है वो बहुत सी food chain को interconnect करने से बनती है. जिस तरह एक organism जो है वो एक किसी एक single organism पे depend नहीं करता. जैसे cat जो है वो mice को भी खाती है और chicks वगैरह को भी खाती है. Similarly, chicks not only eat grain. Chicks जो है वो grain सिर्फ नहीं खाते, they also eat insect and worm. A change in number of plant or animal in one part of web affects the whole web. Children, there is your home task. Do reading page forty-eight to page number fifty-three. Learn, remember, and understand present on page number fifty. Thanks a lot.